jumping straight into the video, I'm gonna be starting with one onion. I used to do onion treatments a lot back in 2017 and 2018, and I believe that it really helped my hair to grow before I plateaued and went into a protective style routine instead. I should have kept the peels. Um, don't mind me, I, my mind was somewhere else, but use the peels as well. Um, red onions are best because they're more potent, but any onion will do. I'm going to chop my onion and then put it into my blender. After it's completely blended, I'm going to take a cloth and put it over a glass. I highly recommend using cheesecloth. Do not do what I did here and you'll see why soon. So instead of onion juice, you'll see I ended up with onion pulp. I'm gonna fix this a little bit later, but for now I'm going to put it in a small glass jar. Afterwards, I'm going to be adding some rosemary. Yes, more rosemary. We are gonna be serious about growing our hair back nice and strong. I'm going to be cutting up the rosemary as well as pinching the leaves to help some of the oils to escape. After everything is nice and secure, I'm going to give it a good shake before adding some heat to the element. Now, this is where I saw the real separation. So at the bottom, you'll see is the juice, and at the top, you'll see is the pulp. That's a no-no. So we're gonna try to strain this again. I found a strainer that I used to use for tea, and I'm just going to try to put that juice through the strainer. Now, it still didn't get everything, but it got the majority of the pulp out. Okay, so after cleaning the pulp out of the jar, I'm gonna leave that rosemary in there and I'm going to put that juice right back. I'm also gonna add some jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is the one oil that matches our natural hair sebum as closely as possible. Again, we're gonna give it a good shake and add some heat. If you don't feel comfortable adding heat, you can also just let the mixture sit for about a couple weeks to a month or so before using it. The heat just speeds up this process. Like I said, I still have some pulp, but it's better than what it was. Easy enough, I'm just gonna store it in the fridge when I'm not using it. If you wanna see how I apply it and I stay away from the strong smell, just click this video here. <laughs> 